at a collective space. Um, it's called Troy Bike Rescue, and it's a place where people come to volunteer um, in hopes to get more people on bikes. Freedom, scarab, liberation, something along those lines. So the freedom, liberation part of it is um, number one when you're on a bike, you, you often feel like you're flying. Is everyone flying? Freeing ourselves from our dependence on gas and oil, which we uh, fight wars for, and freeing ourselves from the norm. So the scarab part is that uh, in some Native American cultures, the scarab beetle it represents like taking the waste, the disgusting part of the earth that no one else wants and transforming it into something that's beautiful. And then we had that. Or like another one of these. We need more people on bikes because uh, you know, we're facing climate change and also, even if you don't believe in climate change, pollution. You don't have to be wealthy or of a certain race or gender um, to have access to a bike. Thursday night ha has a special night and it's actually more than just um, women or feminine. It's anyone that feels marginalized. Um, by their gender choice. You know that this is a safe space. We're going to empower you, we're going to hand the tools over and not question your intelligence or your abilities. A personal thing I feel about this space is that we take all the nitty gritty things that people don't necessarily see as potential and really expand upon it. Gosh, I almost forgot. Ugh. One of the most important things that happens with the bike flow here is that we also donate bikes. Um, just over the holiday season, we donated, uh, I think it was 100 bikes just to this area. Um, also, uh, we even donate bikes out to Africa. So that's an important aspect of the flow of uh, bicycles around here. Cool? Yeah. Okay.